Hi, welcome to uh, Pastor's Weekly Devotion. I'm reading in John, chapter 6. It's a really long chapter. It actually has um, 71 verses in it. And the main theme in John 6 is about bread, loaves of bread. You probably remember how the story begins. There was... Um, great crowd that came to see Jesus and he taught them God's kingdom uh, but there was getting late and uh, disciples wanted to send them home or at least to the villages to buy bread and Jesus said well you feed them so they fed them uh, and they had enough as you remember the miracle that uh, everyone 5,000 and plus were all satisfied I mean, they could have had second helpings if they wanted, but they had enough. It says, actually, they were all satisfied. And John says, this is a sign, the sign of bread. Now, what happens in this story is they wanted to make Jesus king, like right away. But it wasn't quite the king that he was thinking. Uh, he, what, they didn't want him to be the king that would rule and reign over them. He certainly, they certainly didn't want Jesus to be the king that would give them salvation. What they were looking for was a bread king. A king that would provide for them whenever they desired or had a want or a need. And Jesus would provide it for them. It, it would be the perfect thing. Of course, they also thought of him as the king that would finally destroy the Roman Empire and set up his own kingdom right there in Jerusalem. But Jesus left them to their desires. In fact, he crossed over the water, not in a boat, if you recall. He actually was walking on the water. Uh, he did get into the boat, John says, and immediately they were on the other shore. But the crowd kept seeking Jesus, not for who he was, but what he could do for them. And that's the thing of our devotion today. Many of us are looking to Jesus because he's very useful to take care of all of our desires. And, and we do. We come to Jesus all the time. Oh, Lord, we need this money. We need this job. We need our health. But they don't see Jesus. They kind of just see the blessings he's giving them. And John says... The sign is not for you to focus on the bread, but on the bread giver. See, Jesus didn't come mainly to um, give bread, but to be bread. And that's what he finally comes down and says to you and to me. I know your desires, but I want to change your desires. Not for the blessings I can give. I want to change your desires to focus on me. I want you to desire me, Jesus, for I'm the bread of life. Everything that you ask for, it's going to go away. Your health, you may get your health, the Lord will bless it with you, but then you'll die. You'll have food for plenty and it runs out. But there's one thing Jesus is wanting to give us, and that is eternal life and the blessings that bread can do well it can forgive sins and it will not be bread that spoils this will be for you for life eternal so desire the things that you need here on earth but don't forget to give thanks to the one who gives you the bread and that's what Jesus is trying to teach us it's about food that endures forever. Let's pray. Lord, Heavenly Father, we, we thank you for feeding the 5,000 and more in this incredible sign that leads them not to you, but for more. Lord, help us to change our hearts to desire you. And knowing you will be sufficient not only for here on earth, but for eternity. We thank you for giving us food 
especially during communion, that will preserve and strengthen us until the day we will feast on you in eternal life. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.